Hi there, and welcome back to my channel! For today's video, we'll be doing a Renaissance-inspired updo. I got inspired by all these lovely, lovely Renaissance updos that you see, and they're so intricate, and they're so beautiful, and, you know, you're like, oh my god, I really, I really would love to have that. But... Ain't nobody has the time to do these things. So I made a simple way to get this done and make it look pretty after all. We'll be doing three different variations on this hairstyle. We're gonna do a plain one, we're going to do a floral accessorized one, and we're going to be using a like Renaissance hairnet. And it's not a real one, it's just something that looks like it and it was lying around my house because I'm not going outside. <laughs> if you don't already know me, my name is Manuk and I make hairstyle, makeup, lifestyle videos on historical eras, pop culture, movies and series. I post a video every week. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like and ring that notification bell. And now without any further ado, let's make some magic. Hi there everyone, we're gonna start off by taking our hair down and letting it loose. I'm currently on day 4 hair actually and that's why it's all messy and frizzy, but that's alright because this style is gonna cover it up. So we're going to start off by making a midsection on top of our head, doesn't have to go all the way down. Then we're going to section our hair on the side of our head. Once you have your section of hair, go to the other side and make sure you get the even amount of hair on the other side of your head. Make sure to also grab some hair behind the ear. Then tie your hair to the back real quick so that we have some room to work. Now take one section of hair and start twisting away from your face beginning at the ear. Twist all the way down. Then put one section away for the moment and start on the other side by twisting away from the face and twisting all the way down. Now take both twists, raise them to the top of your head and twist them over each other as if you're going to make a knot. Then retwist them for a bit and place them at the sides of your head around the end of your ear. Then take a bobby pin and secure that in place. Then take your other section, retwist when it's needed, place it near the other twist and secure with a bobby pin. Now, you'll look a bit stupid at this point, but that's alright, because we're going to fix that later. Take your hair out of the elastic, take your loose ends, and now you could pin it down and just leave it like this. That's also cute, but that's not what we're going for. So, we're taking one section at the side of our head near the ear, taking that loose section that was in the twist above the head, and twisting away from the face. Make sure that you twist all the way down. Put one section away, do the same thing on the other side of the head. Take a section, bring the loose end, twist away from the face. Then take both sections, put one section away and bring it around the head. Make sure that the hair underneath is smooth and then you're going to bring over the other twist. Then secure in place with a bobby pin. Take the loose end of your twist, retwist it, and tuck it under the rolls. Secure once again in place with a bobby pin. 
Take the other loose end, retwist it, and repeat the same steps by tucking it under the rolls. This might get a little tricky, but if you just fiddle a bit, then you can make it work. Secure the loop of the twist in place with the bobby pin. Now you'll see that one side has slipped because I did not secure it well. So just retwist that for a bit, tuck it under and make sure to really pin that in place. So take your bobby pin, put it in the middle of your rolls and secure that in place. There you go. Next up, we're going to take another section at the side of our head, twisting away from the face and repeating the steps that we did before. Take it around the head, make sure that it really lines up with the other rolls for a tight look, then secure this in place with a bobby pin. Take another section on the other side of your head. Get the loose end, put that in the twist, twist away from the face, and wrap around the head. Now secure that in place with a bobby pin. We're going to repeat these steps once more. This time it's going to be a little bit different. Twist away from the face, bring around the back of the head. Secure in place with a bobby pin. And this time we're going to leave the loose end, take one twist, twist it around the first twist that we made. Now connecting it to the other one, twisting it around the initial twist and tucking it in so we can secure that in place. I know that was a lot of twisting, but just watch carefully and you'll get the hang of it. Secure both ends in place with the bobby pin. Now we just have a final pluck of hair left. As you can see, I still didn't tuck that loose end away, so make sure to really pay attention to that. Now we just have one section of hair left. Divide these in two and make a regular three strand braid on each section. It's really important that you braid all the way down. Now take your braid and loosely position it over all of the twist and secure it in place with a bobby pin somewhere around the middle. I wouldn't go for all the way in the middle, just a bit next to it. Leave some room for the braid to have some space and then tuck it under, secure in place with the bobby pin. I'm here now checking if everything feels right because I did most of this without a mirror and that was quite hard. I have some beautiful floral clips that I'm going to be adding to this hairstyle. I want to place it right around where that braid hits it so it's just as if that is connecting it to my head. If you don't have these clips, you can definitely find them online, make them yourself or get another sort of floral arrangement. And now for our third variation, I have this hairband thingy that I used to wear when I was eight. And who knew it would come in handy all these years later. If you have your own hair net or hair snood, please use that at this point. So I'm just securing everything in place with the bobby pin. I'm not using too much because I don't want to ruin the hairstyle. Make sure to bobby pin all around so that it's secure so when you move it doesn't slip off. And that is it. So here are our Renaissance hairstyles. I feel very regal wearing this. You get to embrace your inner tutor with a plain one, a floral decorated one to be a bit more fancy, or embrace your true historian with a little hair snood on. 
I could definitely see myself walking around the castles with this hairstyle. But if you don't happen to own a castle, you can definitely enjoy them while wearing them around the house. Alright you guys, that was it for today. I enjoyed making this style so much. I actually have never done it like this before, so it was a bit of a challenge for me too. Today we did three hairstyles in one with just one little change. Now, if you like this video, please give it a like, comment down below what you would like to see next, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. I'll post videos every Sunday. Have a magical weekend. Until next time.